welcome to The Know. I'm Meg Turney, and this weekend, the seventh installment in one of my favorite movie franchises hits theaters. If you follow this channel, you probably know by now that I'm a huge Fast and Furious fan. The cheesy one-liners, the sometimes laughably bad CG, the over-the-top, there's no way anyone could ever survive that stunts, I love all of it. And this movie promises to deliver all that and more. This is everything you need to know before you go see Furious 7. Now, if you'll recall last time in Fast and Furious 6, we were introduced to Owen Shaw, a slick, ruthless Brit who had that neat little go-kart looking thing that flipped over other people's cars. He had Letty on his team who remembered nothing of her former life after an accident, but ended up signing with our favorite group of driving things with hearts of gold, of course. After lasting most of the way down the world's longest runway, Owen Shaw is finally killed by the group and almost everybody lives happily ever after. No spoilers. Cue the after credit scene, which takes us back to the infamous DK Han chase that drifts through Shibuya Crossing. Han is T-boned by another driver, of course, but this time, instead of it being a random accident as we all assumed it was in Tokyo Drift, it's actually revealed that Deckard Shaw, played by Jason Statham, smashed into Han on purpose, and the resulting explosion was due to explosives he'd planted in Han's car. Welcome to Furious 7. As you may have guessed by the name, Deckard is Owen Shaw's brother, and he's out to get revenge on the gang of misfits who screwed over his little bro. The film's cast is largely the same as it's been for several films. Paul Walker stars as Brian O'Connor, Vin Diesel is Dominic Toretto, Michelle Rodriguez plays his lady love Letty, Jordana Brewster plays his sister Mia, Tyree Skipson plays the lovable screw-up Roman, Ludacris reprises his role as Smarty Pants Taj, and Dwayne Rock Johnson is Hobbs. Of course, series star Paul Walker was killed during the filming of the movie, but he had completed most of his scenes before his tragic death, and two of his brothers filled in in his absence. They used CG to then paste his face on his brother's body to complete the film. Now, I was lucky enough to be in the first public screening of the movie, and I wanted to pass along something that the writer of the film said before he debuted the film. Everyone's going in not knowing how they'll handle Brian's story. As you go and see the film this weekend, no matter what you say about whether or not you liked it, please let others go in the same way you did, not knowing what to expect from the end. If you're a fan of the franchise, I honestly think you're going to love this movie. So I want to know whether or not you're going to see it, and I want to know if you could have one car from the entire franchise, which one would you choose? I'm, I'm a big sucker for Han. I love him, so give me his RX-7. Let me know which car you'll be taking to our 10 second race Busta in the comments down below. Don't forget, you get the very best in video games and entertainment right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so you can know what we know and be in the know on this show. How are you?